what is up you guys it's John Hollow 168 here and today I wanted to go over the absolutely uh, pretty awesome update that just came out uh, today I think it came out for I live in California so it was around like 4 a.m. ish um, my time I for some reason I, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like the first thing that was on my mind is like oh is the new update out so I like went on as like in the middle of a maintenance break so I think it came out around that time, uh, 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. Um, my time, and uh, let's go over the the new stuff that came with this update. I'm going to be using my higher account because, sadly, most of the Supercell updates uh, for Clash of Clans only really like most of the major things only really apply to larger players, which is something they should work on. That's definitely something they should you know try to implicate. Um, more like I don't, I don't know lower levels for easier I don't know something for lower level people um, that would be awesome I bet there's some awesome ideas out there that they could use okay so let's um, the first the I think one of the biggest highlights in the uh, in uh, in the new update is that both heroes uh, the king and the queen have new abilities um, and that is that the queen when she is um, attacking you can press on her icon once again and she becomes invisible for like I, I feel like it's like three seconds at like my level it's like three seconds um, she's like uh, you unlock these abilities at level once they become level five so basically when you first get your queen, queen she's level one or your king uh, he's level one once he gets he or she gets to level five then you can get these awesome abilities uh, so for, so the queen becomes invisible and she summons some uh, level uh, whatever level archers you have like I have level six so she summons like five level six archers I think it's four or five uh, archers to help her out uh, so over at the queen or uh, over at the king excuse me uh, he has uh, an iron fist <laughs> the iron fist ability and uh, you click on his icon again and he becomes a um, a enraged he drops like a mini rage spell which is apparently not as powerful as a rage spell but it's uh, still pretty powerful and he summons uh, whatever like five four or five whatever level barbarians you have uh, so I have six so he summons like summons like four or five level six barbarians to help him out and uh, with that rage spell so um, I'd say before we go on to the what's uh, next uh, with the uh, update, I want to go. I just want to show you a replay that I did uh, testing out the new abilities. So this guy, <laughs> I found this dude. He is just like a slacker for being in crystal. He has like level not like one level two um, wizard tower. Okay, so what I was doing is I I dropped a troop over there and I dropped a troop over here to lure the king and the queen out and his clan castle reinforcements. And um, so I just put an archer out there, and I dropped a lot. I use my barbarians to uh, take out the the king and queen. Uh, that's what just I've been doing when I attack on this account. And I just float on over. And the problem was he had like a ton of uh, clan castle reinforcements. Uh, so that kind of made me use a lot more barbarians in order to kill him off. But that's okay. I just take those out. It's kind of boring. Let's kind of speed things up there a little bit. But I do start the center of my attack over here. I drop some goblins to get rid of those pesky mines in the front. Oh, it's obviously not going for money because this guy has, like, no money. Um, so I drop some archers, take out his cannon. He had a mortar out there for some stupid reason. And I uh, send the goblins in. And then here comes the king. And I, here, as you see, I just hit the iron fist thing. And he has this mini rage spell. I didn't rock, drop a rage spell. And he actually summoned uh, those barbarians that are right with him. He summoned those. It was pretty sweet. Uh, I also dropped a bunch of other barbarians, and here's the queen, and we'll focus on the queen. We'll just watch the queen. I don't see the the, the trick is using these abilities at the right time. Uh, so the queen wasn't getting attacked, so I didn't want to, um, you know, use the invisibility thing yet. But once once the defenses started going after her, I wanted to uh, start uh, get the invisibility cloak going. So and they just started going for her, so I'm like, all right, let's go invisible. And that's pretty sweet. She's uh totally, but it was like for like two seconds. Actually, yeah, not three seconds. It's like it's really like two seconds. It's uh it's not that helpful. Uh, I'm I'm kind of surprised and sad at the same time about that. Um, but I mean it's still a pretty it's a, it's a cool idea. And so yeah, I just kind of finished up that raid. 
that was fun. I just like testing out the new abilities. Um, so that's that's it for the king, queen, the iron fist, and the invisibility cloak. Uh, those are pretty cool add-ons. Uh, they're really great ideas. Uh, I think the king, I like the kings more because it's a little more powerful. And um, the queen, I mean, it's so, the queen, uh, ideally for the queen, if like, if you have, uh, if you're going for the town hall and you've like broken through and like there's just a few seconds left and the defenses are going hard and your queen hit that invisibility button, she can take out the town hall. Okay, so let's go to um, other things that happen. So minions uh, got to level six, and um, minions level six is like it's it's a pretty cool uh, thing because I mean it's the first of the dark elixir troops to get to level six. All of the regular elixir troops are uh, I think most most of them most of them are to level six. Like the archer goes to level six, the goblin goes to level six now, uh, giant. Uh, wall breaker, balloon, wizard, and that's about it. <laughs> but they all go to level six. But nothing in the dark barracks goes to uh, level six yet. And well, now it does. The minion does. I don't use minions, so I haven't really upgraded my minions past level one. And you know, they don't. I don't really use them that much. Uh, so, but it's really cool they went to uh, level six. And uh, here's a quick picture of those. And so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so next on the list is the level five free spell. So if you guys didn't know, there's a spell called the free spell right here. Uh, you can drop that spell, and it freezes defenses for uh, that it's that it dropped on for I guess level one's four seconds, and it goes up and up. And now it has level five, so you can freeze them longer than ever the longer than ever before. Okay, now you can also boost your sleeping of your uh, Archer Queen and King as well. Ten gems, two hour boost. Uh, it's kind of just like the barracks thing, but they're doing uh, sleeping things. So, also the... Um, I think they, they lowered the amount of gems needed to boost a spell factory and uh, the barracks. They're down to 10 from 20. So that that's pretty sweet. And uh, actually, no. Actually, it doesn't make a difference. It was, it was <laughs> that's stupid. They had, um, for four hours, you could boost the barracks for, 10, uh, for 20 gems. And now it's two hours for 10 gems. So it's actually the same thing. It's just a smaller time. Okay, so that that's, I guess that's kind of an advantage if you're not attacking for like four hours straight. Um, Okay, so uh, also one of the cool things they added is, oh, oops. Uh, if you notice, when you click on, all right, let's, the spell factory, it has like a in parentheses zero slash three. So that means I don't have any spells in my spell factory currently. And uh, it does this for the army camps too. I uh, like 41 out of 220. Uh, it doesn't do it for the barracks, never mind. I think, yeah, that's like the only thing. Oh, wait, let's see if I... I plopped a hog in there. Yeah, no, never mind. Doesn't. <laughs> never mind. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. I thought that was pretty sweet. So you don't have to like click on the info thing and look at it all the time. The other thing is uh, clan-wise that affects everyone. Uh, we have a co-leader co position. So um, I thought I had. I I thought I would go ahead and uh, make my other account co-leader. Uh, Perhaps sometime in the future, someone else will get co-leader. But I just, as an example, I would uh, make my uh, other account co-leader. So, bam. He is uh, now a co-leader, which is pretty sweet. Uh, the co-leader can kick out elders. Elders cannot promote people anymore. I think they can only kick people out. And um, co-leader has all the powers of leader, except they can't kick out the leader. And they can kill, kick out elders. I'm not sure if I already said that. Okay, and finally, uh, as I mentioned in my other video, we have the um, the new obstacle of the gem box. I've <laughs> I've only seen one when I was like uh, one of my friends was raiding and he uh, he was clicking and he found one guy already had one. He's like, oh my gosh, it's so cool! And it actually has like a real, like a legit like rainbow above it. It's it's really cool. I'm really excited for uh, when I get one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I looked on the wiki and. Uh, I hadn't fi found anything for uh, how many gems are in it yet. Uh, that'll probably be soon to come. Uh, what, when people like actually, if it's random or is it's always the same thing, uh, we'll find out. 
Okay, so yeah. Other than that, I think they. Um, let me just see here. I have a list of what they changed in front of me. They decreased the rage spell level five from eighty percent damage to seventy percent. Um, the hog rider did improve. Like it has a higher training cost now, which was uh, pretty much a bummer for me because on this account, I'm trying to get my hogs and my healing spells up, and uh, so when I trophy push, I can. Uh, have it all ready because I, I really like the hog rider strategies uh, no matter how much they can put them down or patch them I think they're still really good um, so I'm kind of doing that but now it costs more so that's kind of stupid they used to be 30 now they're 40 for level 1 um, they increase the hit points on level 3 P.E.K.K.A.s and level 4 P.E.K.K.A.s and they decrease the upgrade cost of the free spell levels 3 and 4 and also, uh, when you're visiting people, let's say I visit uh, this guy in my clan, I can, uh, before you wouldn't be able to look at your chat, now you can. It's a miracle. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, good idea. Let's see. Well, I think that's that's about it. Uh, it's, it's also, oh, an edit mode. Uh, these are just kind of the minor things. Edit mode. Let's go to edit mode. Move all you can uh, remove obstacles so that's great um, that, that's gonna be helpful when you're in edit mode building your village and stuff so yeah I thought I'd just make this quick video for you guys uh, to go over all the new update stuff it's a pretty sweet update uh, unfortunately I love the Christmas update because there's you know snow and everything I thought that was pretty sweet uh, but you know that's gone now because it's uh, it's obviously not Christmas anymore <laughs> so um, yeah enjoy the new update guys and I'll uh, catch you later